The Sahara Desert is the world's largest hot desert and the third largest desert behind Antarctica and the Arctic. Located in North Africa, it covers large sections of the continent, covering 9,200,000 square kilometers, which is comparable to the area of China or the U.S. Today we discover incredible facts about this desert we have never seen before. Before we start the video, let's support and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of our exciting videos in the future. Let's begin today's video. The Sahara is the hottest desert in the world, with one of the harshest climates. The average annual temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, whilst the hottest temperature ever recorded was 58 degrees Celsius. The area receives little rainfall. In fact, half of the Sahara Desert receives less than one inch of rain every year. Despite many thinking of the Sahara as a constantly hot climate, temperatures drop dramatically at night due to the lack of humidity and can reach lows of negative 6 degrees Celsius. The Sahara is much more than just sand. In fact, the majority of the Sahara is made up of barren, rocky plateaus as well as salt flats, sand dunes, mountains and dry valleys. The rivers and streams found in the Sahara are all seasonal apart from the River Nile. There are over 20 lakes in the Sahara, most of which are saltwater lakes. Lake Chad is the only freshwater lake in the desert. In addition, the highest peak in the Sahara is Ami Kusi, 3,415 meters, a volcano located in the Tibesti Mountains of Chad. Other mountain ranges in the area include the Air Mountains, Saharan Atlas, Adrar de Iforas, Hogar Mountains, Tibesti Mountains, and the Red Sea Hills. Do you know? The Sahara has one of the harshest climates in the world. The Sahara is the world's hottest desert. Many years ago, the Sahara used to be a lush region with many plants and animals. It began to dry up around 4,000 years ago due to a gradual change in the tilt of the Earth's orbit. Earth's obliquity oscillates between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees on a 41,000-year cycle. It is currently 23.44 degrees and decreasing. It was that change that filled the mystery deep in the desert. Beneath the sands of the Sahara Desert, scientists have discovered evidence of a prehistoric megalake. Formed some 250,000 years ago when the Nile River pushed through a low channel near the Wadi Tushka, it flooded the eastern Sahara creating a lake that, at its highest level, covered more than 42,000 square miles. These two images show the relative size of the mega lake in the Sahara Desert, reaching 810 feet above sea level and covering 42,000 square miles, and a smaller lake at 623 feet above sea level, covering 18,600 square miles. The Nile is at the lower right in both images. National Air and Space Museum geologist Ted Maxwell and colleagues recently spotted evidence of the lake while studying radar data of Egypt taken by the Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. Using images of wind-blown sediments, sediments produced by running water, and bedrock seen by radar beneath the desert sands, the geologist pieced together the profile of an ancient mega lake. Egypt's extreme aridity enhances the ability of radar to see distinct subsurface features. Buried channels can be detected as much as 50 feet below the surface of the desert. Kisaiba Oasis, southern Egypt, is along one of the ancient watercourses discovered by geologists using space shuttle topographic data. Water at present is 6.5 to 9.5 feet below the surface. This oasis was recently plowed for melon farming. Using fossil fish found in deposits some 250 miles west of the Nile, and at 810 feet above sea level as a marker of the lake's highest shoreline, the scientists estimate the Nile once flooded the entire Kasaiba Tushka depression of Egypt, creating the giant lake. The location of Paleolithic human settlements near the areas of Salima and Tarfawi in Egypt correspond to a lake covering some 42,000 square miles, the scientists determined, placing these settlements in what would have been desirable near water regions. The location and elevation of a different set of archaeological sites near Bir Kasaiba, 93 miles west of the Nile, 
suggest a second, lower level of the lake at 623 feet above sea level, this one covering an area of some 18,600 square miles. The geologists also use the elevation of the Tusca Channel, through which the water of the Nile once flowed into the desert, as a base level to calculate the size of the second lake. These newly discovered lakes add to growing evidence of numerous early and middle Pleistocene lakes across North Africa that could have supported human migration patterns, the researchers say. Their research was published in the article Evidence of Pleistocene Lakes in the Tushka Region, South Egypt, in the December 2010 issue of the journal Geology. The Sahara is one of the driest regions on Earth, but once upon a time, it was a lush green land with rivers and lakes. It's also home to one of the largest deserts in the world. But even so, there are still some things that are stranger than fiction about this place. For example, have you ever heard of an ancient pyramid still hidden beneath the sands? In the dry and desolate sands of the Sahara Desert, scattered remains of ancient civilizations can be found if you look hard enough. Even so, most people wouldn't expect to find a hidden pyramid among them. But that's exactly what scientists recently claim to have discovered. For the past three decades, scientists have been exploring the region approximately 19 miles from the famed Giza pyramids. His incredible discoveries were made public in early 2022 during Tony Robinson's Opening Egypt's Great Tomb documentary on Channel 5. Dobrev believes that he has discovered a forgotten pyramid in the Sahara Desert. The ancient burial site, where the new pyramid was allegedly discovered, served as a necropolis for Memphis and is home to numerous pyramids, including one that stands out among all others, the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser. The Sahara has long been subject to periodic bouts of humidity and aridity. These fluctuations are caused by slight wobbles in the tilt of the Earth's orbital axis, which in turn changes the angle at which solar radiation penetrates the atmosphere. At repeated intervals throughout Earth's history, there has been more energy pouring in from the sun during the West African monsoon season, and during those times, known as African humid periods, much more rain comes down over North Africa. And that's the end of today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all of your support of our channel. If you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the track, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in our channel. And be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you think about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. We hope to see you again next time from all of us here. Take care and be safe.